They say every quilt tells a story. Some may be buried deep in the faded fibers of old quilts, but the quilt detectives are on the case. This one we really uh, have examined just to see if there was a glowing. Cause this In a darkened a room, room, armed really with a black light, Professor Pat Cruz and her graduate students coax a quilt to tell them its secrets. The black light is used to spot optical brightener. The brightener is added to modern threads and laundry detergents. Its presence can reveal if an antique quilt has been altered. And the students have other ways to make a quilt talk. A microscopic fiber analysis confirms the presence of synthetic thread and thus helps narrow down the date the quilt was sewn. A painstaking thread count tells this student if a quilt was made from one piece of fabric. Just record all the information you can about the construction, the materials, the style, and the use and wear that you see. This is the artifact analysis class at the International Quilt Study Center at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. And here's another fan here. Mm -hmm. It's part of a master's degree program in textile history with a quilt studies emphasis, the only program of its kind in the world. The International Quilt Study Center is best known for its collection of some 1,700 quilts. But another part of its mission is education. Here, students learn the history of quilts and textiles. They also learn how to become detectives, using an approach that includes research, examination, and cultural analysis. I was looking to see if there was any uh, batting sticking through, or if there were loose fibers, if loose thread, something that would give me an opportunity to analyze some fibers and see what was, what was it made of. Well, there's none on the top of this quilt until I found a little tiny white hair. Another student spied a few minute red threads, but they were dismissed as signs of an insignificant repair. I looked at it, and I looked really close, and I realized when I looked at the corners, in the corner of each of these corners of this quilt, they're different. And when I looked at the picture, I realized it was the same quilt, because you couldn't have duplicated that in another quilt. Eventually, what we did was we decided we would come and take we would peek under one of the petals, and we'd pick the one in the corner that we could get to the easiest. And sure enough, there it is. It's the same as was in the picture in the book. Kathy tracked the book to an antique shop, and it was mystery solved when the owner told them his late partner was the repairman. He had lovingly replaced each petal by hand because the original fabric was chewed up with holes. Oh, and that tiny white hair? The reason the cat hair was on the quilt is because his cat would get up there and stay with him while he was doing the work. And so he did this as a labor of love. Much the same reason these women carefully consider the smallest of clues in order to hear a quilt's secrets, to place it in time, and sometimes to catch a glimpse of the soul that took the time to create it. <laughs>